So you might be familiar with this right here. I don't even know if I can call it a Lego piece per se, though it was obviously made by Lego. It doesn't really have an item number, a part number on it. But this was designed to hold up the Borok, if you recall those, all the way back in 2002 for a pretty cool little gimmick. Since many of the sets that came before the Borok, including the Toa Mata and even things like slicers could be folded up and fit back in their canisters, the Borok took it one part further, one step further, by essentially making that a part of their story, which I always found pretty cool. But this piece specifically is pretty difficult to use because it is entirely proprietary connections with a clip on one side that is designed to fit in the ridges on the leg connection for the torso, arm and leg connection there. It does work out really well and it's a very secure fit but can be pulled off quite easily. However, that backside is a bit more difficult because it is designed to be approximately a pin diameter but then it has these little nubs of extra plastic that stick out. But I did find something else that it can attach to. The Mixel socket. This is just me experimenting, me playing around with parts as I often do having this, and I went to put it back in my container with weapons and other items because I just didn't know where else to put it. And I thought I wanted to experiment with it a little bit more. So if you actually take the socket, because it actually has these openings here, it will allow for these extra little bits of plastic to fit in there, and you can push this in and it will clip. Now it is more, uh, let's say, difficult a connection than just like a standard mixel joint so it takes a little bit more force than that but it does allow for it to move a little bit however it's going to be most stable in line with the socket itself so turned off to one side it can pop out rather easily but it does mean that you could in theory use this to connect a borok to well this i find it fascinating I've been messing around with a lot of parts just like this a handful of days ago and over the past few days with all of my work with Evasion for Below and other things as well because I think Mixel sockets are generally very useful connections that LEGO needs to explore further. But this piece, this is something that I've neglected for a very long time. It comes in 12 colors, the color of the canister lids for the Borok and the Borok cow. So that's pretty cool, but... It's still a difficult piece to use either way. However, now knowing that I can fit it into these Mixel connections, well, I could use some of the bootleg pieces that I got where it is a Mixel socket and an axle, for example, and have this cap off a staff. It'd be a weird looking weapon, sure, but cool nonetheless, right? And it gives you a unique color to work with as well. Maybe try and find some other connections with this too. Something else I experimented with or these little tiny claws, which though they can fit inside here, just don't do so with quite enough friction, quite enough grip to actually matter. So they just fall out, unfortunately. So yeah, that's my experimentation for today. Not a whole lot going into it. I've done a lot of other work today, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video out there because, well, for one thing, I know you guys like these secret connection videos. I tend to space them out a handful of days between so that I'm not just bogging down the channel with one thing. And of course, that's partially strategic as well on my part since I know it keeps you guys coming back for more, right? But I also enjoy making them because one of my favorite things to do with Lego as a building medium is just experiment to explore to have fun and this was a way to do that what else am i doing well currently i am resin printing a handful of parts that i designed over on blender specifically for uh stringer for invasion from below one of these characters with this size hopefully i got my scaling right and we can just go but it is printing right now should be finished up uh later tonight or early in the morning Still some settings I need to work out, but I'm very happy with that. I wanted to go ahead and fill you guys in on that as well. And something else I may attempt to do, but we'll see, is attempt a photo transfer on a Hero Factory shell for one of my designs for the, well, stringer print, I guess. The main issue I run into there is that I do not have a printer that prints with white ink, they do exist, but I, that's not what I have. So it does mean that whatever I end up using, I would either have to put a white primer coat below it, or I would have to just ignore the white entirely and make those areas transparent. I only use a little bit of white on stringers, well, print, 
but it is in some pretty important places, most notably the Hero logo itself, of course, has white in there. So my plans as of now are to make it a four length shell, as I've showcased in previous videos, but on a silver shell rather than gunmetal to make it stand out from this one. And then next, I will put on a five length shell in gunmetal so it stands out as well. I will still look up this information online because honestly, I'd rather make some stickers for these so that a I can remove them if they are misaligned and also so that I can just stock up on them to be honest um, but of course that means doing a bunch of research online for either looking up companies that are willing to make these stickers custom or figuring out that work for myself and investing on the front end but I don't imagine that that would be a worthwhile investment since well at the end of the day I don't think that there's a ton of demand for a stringer print for these shells specifically enough sure a ton no worth the investment probably not but you know i do have other prints that i have designed in the past and maybe it'd be worth looking into getting some of those made as well or again just making them myself if i get bored and just have the time so yeah that's pretty much it fairly short video today just wanted to go ahead and get this one out there for you i've got plenty more of these hidden connections in the woodworks but this one was just a new one that popped up immediately and I had to get it to you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It's the best way you can tell me that you liked it. And of course, it tells YouTube that you want to see more content just like this one. And of course, if you want to join the conversation, you can do so down in the comments below, which also helps the channel. So hey, free and it helps. And also you can join the conversation even further over on Discord, Instagram, and Patreon if you want to help support the channel and get some perks. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.